So I would like to introduce you to David J123456. This is a player that I was brought up to me in a comment. As always, I uh, appreciate all comments. This is a player that... Now, here's the thing. Abusing low-tier vehicles isn't anything abnormal. This is something that, as far as I can tell, plays a lot of low-tier and then has high tier but really doesn't play it that much um he is in thc now whatever thc is a competitive squadron if it's relevant it's relevant if it's not it's not i don't think it's really that relevant um he, cheaters are in there are cheaters that have been in high tier squadrons um for the relevant sake of they've been in high tier squadrons there's there's nothing really to do with that it's just that they are you also notice that this is tack view but I've also lowered it to ULQ. In the bottom right, I'm in ultra low quality. No thing. This is what ULQ looks like. This is why people are like, oh, it's it's so different, blah, blah, blah. The, like I said, if you've ever looked at my replays before, you know the tree density really doesn't change between ULQ and like a normal graphics. Granted, I run like medium high settings with grass off in sight because I like grass on in normal things. But it's grass off in sight. This is what tack view looks like in ULQ mode. It's really dark for some reason. I don't know why it makes it so dark, but I know that in... The normal views that you've seen in my other videos, it makes everything kind of low contrast, which I guess makes sense. So this is a player that was brought up to me as uh, from comments as well as uh, a player or a friend of mine. Um, and I thought it was a little ironic um, that this player was the way they were. Um, I do have some, this replay of them um, in which they, I feel like as per, a person who claims that they don't cheat, um, at least according to their Reddit post, which I thought was kind of hilarious, that, um, yeah, so basically he, he went on Reddit claiming that he, uh, I want to preface this to the case that I think that another post of someone who got banned trying to act like they didn't cheat. He claims he's been, he says he's been playing off and on since 2014, he's had the account since 2014, um, and he's only had one other account, which means he's, or he's never had another account, so that's just what it is. I've never been banned on War Thunder on any account, I've only ever had the one. And the only punishment he's ever had was a chat mute. Um, he's also um, saying that there's various other members of other squadrons thinking he's cheating. Um, but here's the way I look at this. Pla staring at an ASU-57. You know, you're staring at a general direction. This is a very big area. So you're telling me that you are not looking at this area right here, which is a very popular area to sit, like right over here. You're telling me you're not looking at that? That's interesting. I don't know anyone who just runs into an area like this without it. So staring at ASU-57. By the way, that ASU-57, completely behind cover. There's rocks here. That's our friend right here. This is our David friend. Completely behind rocks. So you're staring in a direction. Why? I don't know. I don't. doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but the one thing that makes no sense to me is this. So ULQ, fully ULQ'd, right? Okay. I'm going to slow this down as much as possible, right? Slow, 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 slow. You still can't see the player. You can't, still can't see the player. Even with this marker here, there's no antenna. There's no radial. He is completely behind cover. Yule Q has removed the deformation on the land. There's nothing else there. He is in binos staring directly at a target. So what target is he staring at specifically? Well, let's go find the player in question, shall we? This player. So you're telling me you can see him. This player probably could because he's actually in the full visibility. But this is the view that our friend has of him. At that sightline, he could see maybe a radial. But I don't even think he could see that considering the bush and stuff he's looking through. Right? So he is staring at this. You're not seeing a player there. Especially with the ASU that he looked at earlier. That makes zero sense to me. Okay? And then you notice he snaps away. Interesting. So, he's also looking... Stares at this player over here. That's interesting. Why would you know he's there? So, the reason why I wanted to do this redo is that in TAC view, it's it lowers the amount of thing. Also, here's a good thing. He stares at a target right here. TAC view would tell me if he's ranging. He never ranged, according to what TAC view is telling me. At all. Now, I know ranging doesn't tell me the, the target, which is what a rangefinder would do. But he now just knows this player is at 800 meters. I never got an indicator he ranged. There is no ranging indicator. I have checked current replays with tack view. If person doesn't have a laser rangefinder or a rangefinder modification, it should still tell me that they range. Based on what I've looked with other replays. 
Didn't get that at all from him. That's really interesting. Also, it was a little too quick between shots to know that ranging um, based on playing this vehicle. So what that tells me, based on the first two indicators of him staring at an ASU-57 and staring at this player through terrain, is that this player is using some sort of modification. If THC wants to believe me, that would be cool. But I, considering I've worked with Noble before and their competitive squadron, I'm going to say that they're probably not going to care either. Because here's the thing. Every recent replay I've looked with this player, he's in squadron battles, raising their squadron rates because they win a lot of their battles. But in their squadron battles, he plays very conservatively. Granted, most of the maps on squadron battles are really small maps, and they don't really they don't really correlate very well. They're very tiny maps. They don't tend to be large maps. They're not very good CQC maps. At least. Well, they are good CQC maps, but I don't think they're very good for squadron battles, for my opinion. Um, but it, some of his stuff just doesn't make sense. Like, it, like I said before, those early ones really didn't make sense. He's staring at a target. He literally cannot see it. No, all of a sudden, he's ranging for 750 meters, even though he cannot see the target at all. So, you'll understand my skepticism of a player like this, because this stuff makes no sense, right? There, there's certain behavior in this that just do not make sense. I don't understand the logic of that. I don't understand how you can play like this and claim you're not cheating. Also, why would you even need to go to Reddit if people were thinking you're cheating? Just mute them and move on. If you're not cheating, then that wouldn't be a problem. Why do you need to try to prove yourself wrong? The other thing is, let me scroll over here real quick. Let's see. So, he, someone pr I put proof up there. The The Discord um, thing doesn't load anymore, so I can't look at it. He, a he was asked to upload it in a normal format, such as upload to YouTube or something. The player, unfortunately, couldn't be bothered. He said it's an MP4. Any video player can play it. And David unironically goes, oh, I'm not bothered to... I'm not bothered to upload his evidence. Seems legit. And the player gives a reasonable explanation. Every computer running Windows 10 11 comes with a new media player. I'm sorry that... I'm sorry if you have something obsolete. It will still be open just fine. It can even open just fine on my Galaxy 10. And then David, of course, ironically goes, as expected, Lamau. So he's pushing off proof of a player, a potentially proof of a player, because unfortunately I can't view that clip anymore, of someone potentially cheating... And he's being condescending to the player that's trying to prove a point. So I, I don't. That's why I don't understand about a player. You're trying to prove a point to that you're not cheating, but you're gonna be a complete dick to those that are trying to defend you or trying to prove a point. See what I mean? Like it's the same behavior we've seen before with these guys, where they try to claim otherwise. Oh, I'm not cheating. Oh, I'm not doing this. Oh, I'm not doing that. And then they. And ironically, when we had the big wave of cheaters for the Chinese players, they go to the forums and say, Why was I banned for cheating? I didn't do anything wrong. Nothing's happening here. I didn't do anything crazy. Why am I banned? See the, see the connection there? Now, if it's the case, that would be hilarious if, you know, that actually happened. However, there's certain things, like I've said before in these, that really don't make sense. And I'm going to leave them as this. The, this. I have the best setup for this. It's in ULQ. I have it in TAC view so we can see every single target. I changed player views if you wanted to look at it differently. He now sees the player over here. Granted, I think in normal view, you can kind of see the, uh, the you know, it's black against highlight. So it's probably pretty easy to see. The best indication. So for all the critics, ULQ, TAC view, and... Slowing down spots where it doesn't make any sense to learn certain things and explaining what's going on here. So, if David sees this and wants to explain otherwise, that would be cool. But, yeah, your your behavior in this doesn't make any sense. And you can claim otherwise, but you staring at people through terrain makes no sense. And I think it's hilarious that you want to, quote-unquote, prove your innocence on Reddit. Maybe you should do that on the forums. Like, you know, go talk to a GM instead of asking for people's opinion on Reddit. So, as always, I hope you all have the rest of your morning, day, evening, or night, and have a good one.